Here's lesson 101, number 22. I was getting ready to write this, and then I, I was getting ready to um, get my x-axis, but I'm not even going to bother putting an x-axis on this, because this thing's lifted up by 10. So remember, this is the midline. That's what the 10 is. The 2 gives me the amplitude. The um, 4 gives me the period. The period's actually given by um, the regular period of... Um, sine divided by that number. So that will give me um, pi over 2. That's the period. Okay. And then this thing is a phase shift. So that thing, um, it's scooted to the left by pi over 6. Uh, sine graph, a regular sine graph, the parent function goes up through the origin and it goes like that. Okay, that's um, y equals sine x. And if I want to, I can make these little dots on it to help me. You know, I have these three zeros and I have a, a max and a min. So I'm probably going to use those on this one. This one's pretty complicated. So my amplitude, so I got my 10. My amplitude is 2, so that'll be 12, and that'll be 8. I just like to make a dotted line. There we go. And then I need to make a sine curve. Um, just make a curvy sinusoid. They're never good looking on, on mine. Um, so this one's conveniently located. I can use this little S right here, this little area right here, to be one cycle of my sine curve. So, um, but this dot, if this is like the first, I don't know, zero in my cycle, this is going to be at negative pi over 6. And then the distance from this one to the last dot, the last point, would be pi over 2. So uh, negative pi over 6 plus pi over 2. I don't know. I've got to do some fraction math. Negative pi over 6 plus pi over 2. So I can write pi over 2 as 3 pi over 6. Hopefully that's right. Okay, so I got a negative 1 and a positive. That's going to give me 2 pi over 6. So that's uh, pi over 3. I'm just going to say this right here is pi over 3. Okay, that gives me my... I mean, that's enough of the angle measures. Um, so the y-axis must be, I don't know, somewhere over in this area. I can just kind of fake it if I want to. It's kind of, I don't know, maybe it's like right in here somewhere. There's the y-axis. Okay, what else do I have to do? Anything? Um, no. I think I'm good. I think it's good. It's done.